Welcome to Powered by Snowflake, a series where I interview technology leaders building applications and businesses on Snowflake. I'm your host, Daniel Myers, and today I'm talking with Siobhan Bindal, head of platform products at AuditBoard. AuditBoard is a cloud platform transforming audit, risk, and compliance management, powered by Snowflake. Siobhan, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, I'm really excited to have you in the studio today. And really to kick this off, tell me more about how you got involved with Audit Board and in your own words, what does Audit Board do? Absolutely. Audit Board has been transforming the audit risk and compliance space for the past eight years. Our founders are former auditors and come from the space from both EY and PwC. And they had this vision around evaluating where the market was at that time and looking at how it can be modernized to move folks into more of a digital era with all of the industry at the time. And so, you know, they created the first cloud-based platform purpose-built for these auditors to be able to streamline their SOX audit and compliance programs. And really what's most important here that our founders really drilled into the DNA of Audit Board is this really strong emphasis on customer centricity working with our customers, listening to them, driving that feedback directly into the product. And as a product manager myself, you know, that's something that really excites me about the company. I get to talk to and work with our customers day in and day out. And it's no surprise by any means that, you know, we're top rated by our customers on G2, Captera, and Gartner Peer Insights. And for the third year in a row now, we are one of the fastest growing technology companies in North America, as mentioned by Deloitte. We have more than 30% of the Fortune 500 customers leveraging Audit Board today to move their businesses forward with both greater clarity and agility. And what's really exciting is, is that these customers are really moving the needle on these critical internal audit risk and IT compliance practices. Enterprise customers, mid-market customers who are you know, really building and have these, these investments with these teams, but are forced to do more with less and really take advantage of the various different technologies that are out there now in, in this more modern digital world. That's a really exciting you know, story of, of the founders, kind of where you are today and how you've gotten there. That's pretty cool to hear. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a pretty exciting place to be, especially when we think about you know, where we've come in the last eight years you know, with over 500 employees. And again, you know, our customers kind of speak for themselves, including six of the Fortune 10 using Audit Board today. Some household names, right? Like Post, Chewy, Uber, Spotify, right? And, and these customers are just a delight to work with. That is pretty exciting. So tell me more about kind of the growth that Audit Board is having. When were you founded and, and things like that? Yeah, you know, for that story, I, I should probably go back to our founders who really got started in practice, right? They were auditors themselves. They came from PwC and EY. And in 2014, they had the spark, an idea that, you know, the audit risk and compliance whole space can really be transformed. When we look at how enterprise teams today are operating, there's just a way in which they operate today. And there's an opportunity to really modernize that entire practice. And that's what's really exciting about our vision, our mission. Together, Dan and Jay, they created the first cloud-based platform, Purpose Built, specifically to help auditors streamline their SOX programs, their audit programs, their compliance programs. And that's where we've spent our time over the last eight years or so. That's exciting. So it really seems like data is a pretty core aspect of the solution. Absolutely. When you look at the landscape of our customers, over 1,500 customers worldwide are using Audit Board to manage these very, very important practices. The space of our customers it spans from mostly enterprise, but also mid-market customer segments. And so the volume of data we're talking about here is astronomical. And the folks who are involved with processing this data is not as astronomical. And so there's, there's definitely a lot of technology that can help this practice. So that's interesting. So tell me about how Snowflake specifically fits into your tech stack. Yeah, absolutely. Snowflake is a world-class data warehousing and data processing engine. And our customers leverage Snowflake for a variety of different things. But most importantly, it's the data warehouse that stores a lot of the critical information that's leveraged in these SOX audit and risk management programs. And so evidence is, resides within Snowflake. And so we're able to leverage repositories that our customers have within the Audit Board platform to not only 
provide that evidence and, and house it within their audit workspace and their compliance workspace, but also then in, empower them to use the very powerful compute platform that Snowflake provides to automate a lot of the testing procedures associated with these programs so that they can be much more confident and efficient with how they perform their testing and even move towards kind of this, this end state goal of continuous control monitoring, which is a term used in our industry to get towards more near real time activities, right? Identifying risks and issues much earlier and much faster than what was previously defined. So you mentioned pieces of evidence that your customers would use and leverage. Does that include both structured, semi-structured, even unstructured data? Can you talk to me more about that? Absolutely. Our customers are working in a space where data is coming from all over the place and leveraging a solution like Snowflake is very advantageous to them because they can bring all of that into one place. Naturally, they have data pipelines they build you know, in order to structure that data and bring it into the Snowflake environment. And once it's in there, it's such a wealth of information that can be used to power these programs. So Siobhan, that was pretty amazing to see. Can we see a demo of the product today? Absolutely. I'm prepared to show you exactly how our customers interact with Snowflake today in the Audit Board platform. Before I get into it, though, I do want to call out, you know, Audit Board, again, is a very audit-centric space and workspace for our users. And Snowflake represents some of the best technology out there for both data storage and compute. But marrying these two together for our users is really trying to bring technology without focusing so much on the technical aspects, but taking that technology and bringing the audit context around Snowflake. And so to that end, we have some secret sauce that's built on top of Snowflake that really harnesses the power of this data in the audit risk and compliance space. First and foremost, we have a very robust change management and versioning capability that helps our customers feel confident in what these automations are doing for their audit practice. In addition, we have a very robust audit trail that helps them determine how the system is performing these automations, how it's leveraging data, where it's leveraging data, where it all resides, and kind of the state of that over time as some of these things run autonomously. And so it's a really powerful combination of audit specific capability with best in class technology. So with that, let's go into the demo. As you can see here on the screen, I'm showing you a portion of the Audit Board platform wherein our customers are connecting Snowflake directly to Audit Board. Here they would connect Snowflake in and then create workflows that service several different use cases associated to both audit and compliance. And when we think about those use cases, it kind of breaks down into three buckets or categories. One is, how do I get the evidence associated to my audit that I need to go and perform testing upon? Particularly if you're thinking about, say, Sarbanes-Oxley, you know, kind of audits, right? I'm looking at financial information. I'm looking at IT information that's associated to my financial risk program, right? And so I need evidence, say, from my SAPs of the world or from my IT systems from the world. And Snowflake is a great repository of a lot of that data. It's a trusted system within these, the ecosystem of the enterprise. And so harnessing that for evidence is a great use case for the Snowflake platform particularly around data storage. But where Snowflake also shines is around compute. And that's where the other two use cases around testing automation and continuous control monitoring come to play. So on top of being able to just access all of that data from our customers, and we're talking about anywhere from, depending on the sophistication of these customers, megabytes to petabytes of data, right? Especially when you start thinking about multinationals using you know, very, very large systems globally. And so for this, not only are they pulling and, and kind of centralizing their data in Snowflake, they're also being able to apply business logic on top of that data, leveraging the very powerful Snowflake compute platform. And so th in those use cases, we're talking much more about testing automation. So an example of that might be if I was to look at my Sarbanes-Oxley compliance, you know, do I have duplicate transactions in my general ledger, right? Or if I was to look at IT compliance, do I have my service level agreements being measured and met? Or do I have policies being met based on you know, certain IT criteria and requirements? Are my password securities set appropriately across all of my systems? Things of that nature. And then being able to do that on a recurring basis and happening autonomously without human intervention so that we're constantly testing these things, creating more assurance for the business as well as creating a much more efficient 
and scalable approach to running our audit and compliance practice. So with that, what you see here on the screen are a couple examples of all of those things and beyond, right? So we have this one scenario where I'm able to connect to data that's pulled from JIRA, my ticket tracking solution within my organization, right? I'm using an ETL tool like a five trend to pull from JIRA, push into Snowflake. And now at Audit Board, I'm able to access all of my incident information and directly associate it to an, a specific ITGC control around incident reporting. And so with a few clicks of the button, my auditors now no longer have to make a request into IT to say, hey, give me all of your incident information. They can very seamlessly come into Audit Board, take a look at what the automation provides, have confidence that it's a verified certified workflow with all of the documentation and explanation of what the workflow does, run it directly from Audit Board, and wait for a few moments to see the data populate into the platform. They can now perform their testing on top of this data set. That's the evidence collection use case. If we go back and look at other examples, we have scenarios where we can perform much more complicated continuous monitoring and testing automation use cases. In this particular example, we're looking at a security compliance related use case where, you know, as an IT organization, we want all vulnerabilities, all incidents that are flagged to be responded to within a certain service level agreement time period. And we can check for exceptions on an automatic basis. In particular here, we have all of those JIRA tickets or all of my ServiceNow incidents being piped into Snowflake automatically. I can look through all those incidents and do and perform, in fact, business logic on top of that data to determine if my service level agreement policies are accurate. In this case, we're checking to see if all of my incidents are signed to remediators or investigators within a prescribed time of 15 minutes because the business notes that there are MTTR impacts if we have any exceptions. And so again, here I have the monitors to be able to connect directly back to those controls, to those framework requirements, even from a cybersecurity or IT compliance perspective, right? And from there, I can actually see the results of these monitors running on a periodic basis every so often. Those monitors are connected directly into your control workspace within Audit Board, and you can see historical runs and kind of how it's performing over time. Really having this level of observability into the data seems like a, a pretty valuable and, and impactful element to the platform. It absolutely is. In fact, our customers tell us that, you know, look, we've made these investments in certain technologies. We're already centralizing our entire business around these platforms and these technologies. We want to leverage those technologies in every aspect of our business. And audit is no different. And so that's also part of the power and capability that Snowflake brings to Audit Board. So when developing and creating this platform, what were some of the considerations that you had when selecting Snowflake, for example? What are some of the major capabilities of Snowflake that you leverage in your platform today? First and foremost, again, going back to the Audit Board tenant of customer centricity, we listen to our customers. A number of our customers are using the Snowflake platform already and use it as a trusted system for data storage and compute. So that was first and foremost where we then began to initiate conversations with Snowflake to understand the power of the platform, how we could integrate it, and then start going through our product discovery process of figuring out what would actually move the needle. You know, when we look at how our customers use the audit board platform, we're very specific to the auditor, to the various different activities the auditor is performing. And those auditors don't necessarily have the time to work with new technologies like Snowflake. So part of the equation was, how do we give them access to technology without creating too much complexity, right? And so as part of that, we really tried to understand how organizations are leveraging Snowflake and then how we can tie it into the audit practice. Once we had that figured out, it was actually quite simple and straightforward to integrate into the Snowflake platform with your very robust APIs, all of the documentation that you guys have provided. You know, so that was a very good and, and positive experience. You know, I, I love that you mentioned, you know, a lot of your customers leveraging Snowflake, right? I've seen that and to, to many of the folks that I talk to is, you know, that's a, a pretty big factor, network factor in terms of how easy it is to integrate with the rest of the ecosystem where their data resides already. And so you mentioned, you know, that some of your customers use Snowflake before. How has the data sharing capability of Snowflake manifested itself into, into the platform that you have and how has that brought value? Absolutely. I think we're in early days with our implementation and integration to Snowflake. 
And as we've implemented this one space with Snowflake, we're investigating and experimenting with other additional experiences. So for instance, there's opportunities for us to leverage the audit board data set as even part of the Snowflake data ecosystem, if you will, or the data cloud itself. So we're experimenting with data sharing audit board data into other customers' instances of Snowflake. In fact, audit board itself leverages Snowflake to continuously monitor audit board activities through Snowflake. So it's a very powerful platform that we know there's a lot more value to unlock from. You mentioned you know, that you're looking at you know, leveraging data sharing more. So that's, that's cool to hear because we've seen where there are what we call connected apps, right? The idea that the application connects to the customer's data and leverages the customer's data in, in their format, in their schema. How has that kind of built and grown for Audit Board and some of the audit practices that you do? Yeah, I think there's you know, definitely more opportunity for us to explore beyond data sharing with connected apps. I think we also have to meet our customers with where they are and how they're leveraging Snowflake. And so I think that's a future opportunity for us to explore. That's great. And, you know, that, that actually brings me to my next question, which is, you know, six months, one year down the line for the audit board roadmap, what should your customers get most excited about? I think there's more opportunity for them to do more with technology, right? And Snowflake is just one example of what they can accomplish. But more specifically, you know, we didn't talk about some of the advanced capabilities that Snowflake could even offer beyond this notion of, you know, leveraging data and performing your job more effectively. There's even more use cases that we can unlock where Snowflake, as its powerful compute-only capabilities, can power, you know, transforming audit activities. So for an, a good example of this would be risk scoring and, and health, right? Managing many different attributes and variables that exist in other data stores, in the data cloud, for instance, and being able to power and drive risk, health, and scoring within Audit Board from that, that kind of separate ecosystem, if you will, kind of conjoins these ecosystems together, which is, I think, a very powerful opportunity that we have yet to unlock. And so if folks want to learn more about you and about Audit Board, where should they go? Absolutely. We have wonderful sales and customer success teams, and you can find how to contact them either to schedule a demo or as well to just talk about you know, the landscape and capabilities that Audit Board provides uh, by contacting us through our website at www.auditboard.com. That's great. And I want to say a big thank you for joining me in the studio today. It's been great learning about all about Audit Board and how you, you leverage Snowflake. Absolutely. Thank you again for having me. This was a pleasure. And thanks to everyone watching. To see more interviews like this with tech leaders building applications on Snowflake, check out our other videos on YouTube and subscribe for new episodes. My name is Daniel Myers, and this has been another episode of Powered by Snowflake.